سوس ماري يوسف اي سوس ماري يوسف او دوز ذات مين خصوص ماري جوزيف Kumusta kayo? Mabuhay! Magandang umaga! And welcome back to MGN Dieko! Ako po si Ovela and today I will be reacting to a video called Growing Up with Filipino Parents and I am interested in this video in particular because I want to compare it with how I grew up with Algerian parents and in the past I have noticed some similarities between Algeria and and the Philippines, so I want to see if there are similarities um, growing up with, uh, you know, Filipino parents. So let's get to it. Watch exclusive MGN reaction videos only on patreon.com slash music game news. Hi guys, it's me Jessica and welcome to another video on my channel and today I'm going to be talking about what it's like to grow up with Filipino parents. I know this doesn't cater to the majority of my audience but I thought why not film it. I love my heritage, I love my culture and I just want to tell you guys what it's like growing up with Filipino parents and in no way am I bashing my parents. These are just like typical Filipino stereotypes and you know so my parents don't even do half of these things but I thought it'd still be funny just to piece in here. But yeah, I hope you guys <laughs> enjoy this video. So Filipino parents. Where do I even begin? <laughs> Filipino parents are some of the best parents out there. But since they are Filipino parents, their first language was Tagalog, most mm -hmm. likely, and English was maybe their second or third. So if you have Filipino parents, you will most likely hear, Anna, open the light! Close the light! <laughs> Instead of them saying, turn on the light, or turn off the light, they will say, open, open. close the light. <laughs> Anna! Anna! Can you open the light, please? Open the light, okay. I'm trying to read. <laughs> Is that better, Mom? Yes, enough, yes, enough, thank you. Actually, wait. Close it. Can you close the light? Can you close the light? I like it better. Oh. Uh, uh, okay. I'll close the light. Thanks, enough. And it's not even close, it's close. Close the light. parents love to point with their mouth. Anna, mm -hmm. can you, you, over there, mm, grab the <laughs> I cannot wait to see this when I get to the Philippines. I really hope that a Filipino will point at something, you know, tell me to give them something like this. Yo, give me that. <laughs> they love pointing with their lips and my parents actually do this. It's kind of funny, I love it, but they point with their lips and sometimes I'm just like, I don't know where, this is, like, <laughs> to be more precise. <laughs> she looks so cute! Why? Pouting with that mouth, like... Mm. Anak! I want to watch TV. Can you grab the remote, please? Yeah, sure. Where is it? Yun, Yun, over there! Where, where is that? Jan, Jan! Where? Mom. Where's that? <laughs> Jan! Mm, mm. I, I don't know where that is. <laughs> I will get it myself. Filipino parents, they don't even call you by their name. They just say, Anak! <laughs> anak! 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 What does that mean? Anak! Anak! Is it, does it mean like, hey, you? Anak! The font is too small. Can you make it bigger? Anak! 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 I just go yung bata. <sighs> Filipino parents, they like to call everyone your aunts and uncles. Anak, this is your tito. Anak, this is your tita. It's like I'm related to everyone, where yeah. I'm not even blood related to them. Okay, anak, these are your uncles and aunts. We have that as well in Algeria, you know, like, your, like, very distant uncle or whatever is still your uncle, or a very close friend to the family is still your uncle or aunt, you know? This is Tito Edward, and this is Tita Bella. Bless. Are, am I actually related to them? No, you're not actually related to them. Just call them your tito and tita, okay? Okay, I was just asking. Okay. <laughs> Filipino parents, they like to mix up their Fs and their Ps. So basically, yeah. instead of pronouncing Filipino, Filipino. 
pronouncing the F sound, they pronounce the P sound, or instead of pronouncing the P sound, they pronounce the F sound. I am not, I dropped my plate. Can you pick up the pork and the plate? What? No, 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 no. You can't say plate. No, 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 no. No one will understand. Plate? Uh uh. Instead of plate? Filipino parents. They do not like shoes in the house. No, they don't. I, what did I say about shoes in the house? Why are you wearing your shoes in the house? I'm, I'm sorry. Take them off. Okay, I'll take them off. I'll take them off. Filipino parents. That's good to know. That's good to know. I won't make that mistake when I get to the Philippines. Do not want their little daughters to have boyfriends until they grow older. Anakin, no, I love you, pero no boyfriend until older, okay? Yeah, whatever. I said no boyfriend. I, I don't have one. Ay, ang tigas, tigas ng ulo mo. I, I just said I don't have one. Filipino parents, do not want you sitting too close to the TV because it will ruin your eyesight. <laughs> Come on, that's not just Filipinos, that's everybody, you know, I grew up with my parents as well, like, don't sit too close to the TV. I think that's an international thing, because it is actually bad for your eyes. Ah, not too close to the TV. This isn't even a TV, mom. Filipino parents love their chinelas. Actually, not even just Filipino parents, Filipinos in general, they love their chinelas. Like, no joke. Their what? Where are your chinelas? Where are your chinelas? What the hell is janelas? Janelas? I, I don't understand. Is that a, a word I'm supposed to understand? I, I lost them. I'm sorry. Janelas? Excuses. Where are janelas? I, I will bring them. I'll find them. I'm sorry. If you want to tell how someone's Filipino, this is a way to tell. 99% of the time when a person screams, Hoy! They're Filipino. And when I'm lost in a mall, I can <laughs> identify my mom by her screaming, Hoy! I'm not over here. Mom, Hoy. where are you? Filipino parents, they but love- Hoy means here? Here? Sending back balikbayan boxes to the Philippines. And if you don't know what balikbayan boxes are, they're basically just these giant boxes filled with a bunch of goodies and stuff that we send to the Philippines yearly, probably actually more than once a year, but we send a bunch of balikbayan boxes to the Philippines and it's kind of like gifts and presents to our family and relatives in the Philippines. And then, do you even play with this anymore? No. No? We can give this to your cousins in the Philippines. I'll put this in the balik bayan box, okay? <laughs> yeah, whatever. Good, good. Mm -hmm. Filipino parents don't like using the typical Heinz ketchup. No, that's not what they like. They like the banana sauce ketchup. And I still love it. I actually still use it, but I don't even use regular, like, normal American ketchup. I use Filipino ketchup, which is banana sauce. Anna, can you please pass the ketchup? I have never tasted banana sauce ketchup, so I have to try it out when I get to the Philippines. Thank you, thank you. Filipino parents, they do not call air conditioning air conditioning AC. or AC. No? They call it the aircon. What? Anna, it's hot in here. Can you up the aircon, please? <laughs> no, what? The aircon. I mean, I'll just do it myself. Is it shorter? Aircon. Filipino parents, when they're lazy to cook, their go-to dish is corned beef. And that I don't feel like cooking tonight. Are you okay with just corned beef? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Again, Filipino parents, first language is most likely not English, so they'll say things like Open the TV. Anak, I want to watch TV. Can you open the TV please? Open the TV. Filipino parents don't like it when- It's like uh, Quebecers here, they don't say watch a movie, they say listen to a movie. And I hate, hate it. Because, I don't know, like the first thing that comes to mind when it's something that you can see is watch, not listen. Even though you do listen to the movie as well, but it's just weird. Like watch a movie, you don't listen to a movie. And your skin gets dark and they love sunscreen. Put it on sunscreen, so you do not get dark. I do not want you to get dark. What if I want to get dark? I know. I'm tigas naman ng When I was little, my Filipino parents loved to scare me by saying, Oh, there's a monster over there. And that's how they would get me to go to my room. <laughs> Especially my dad. He would scare me when I was alone in the living room. He'd be like, Oh, I'm not. There's a momo over there. Go to your room. <laughs> 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 that is something that we do as well in Algeria. We love to scare children. We tell them some horror stories. Oh my god, that scarred them for life. You do not want to go in your room? Okay. Well, you know, I saw Mumu over there. Where? Yeah, yeah. My Mumu, Jen. 
Where? I'm going to go in my room now. You can come if you want to, but there's a moo over there. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> Filipino parents, they do not say over there. They say over there. Over, over there. Where? Over there. <laughs> over there. That sounds German. Over there. Where? Jump. And last one. Filipino parents love to say Sus Mario Josef. Sus Mario Josef. Sus Mario Josef. Hi. What does that mean? Nobody cleans in this house. Where are my glasses? Hi. Sus Mario Josef. So that's all that I have for growing up. Oh, home. does that mean uh, Jesus Mary Joseph? Is that because she's not explaining some words, you know? So is that means the Joseph Mary Joseph Jesus Mary Joseph? I think that's it. Like oi! Oh my God! Ah, oh, what? Filipino parents today. If you want to see more of these, or if you just want to see any other videos, you can leave me a comment down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And if you did, you can go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and comment down. There's a thunderstorm going on right now. Go ahead and comment down below any video request that you have for me. And if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. This girl is very cute. I like her. She's pretty. But man, I am so tired of these channels that play this ukulele music. This generic music, you know, it's just so annoying. But I liked her acting. She was cute. Uh, her video is fun, although she should have explained a little bit more some terms here and there. So, uh, yeah, in the end, there aren't that many similarities between Algerian and uh, Filipino parents. Well, if I base it on this specific video, because I'm pretty sure that she did not mention tons of and tons of things that Filipino parents do. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you guys, if I told you guys, but I finally got my Canadian passport. So now I'm waiting for my brother to come back from Europe so that we can make a video together and tell you guys the next steps for our trip to the Philippines that probably will happen. So far we want to come either in uh, December, end of December, like Christmas time or the beginning of January. So we'll see. Uh, but I cannot wait. Okay, uh, let me know in the comment section below your thoughts about this video. Thank you so much for watching as usual. I love you guys. And I will catch you guys in the next video as usual. So take care of yourselves. Peace. Thank you for watching. Subscribe here and please like the video to show your support and appreciation for my work. And turn on the notification bell to be poked for future content. Yeah, yeah, yeah.